there's some area in your life where you have gained gained a certain amount of clarity on what to do how to do when to do how much to do how not to do or suppose you have certain plans you are thinking of how to make them appear as if it is the plan of destiny or it is god's plan right it is the it is that which god has ordained for me this is what you might be planning to showcase to others because you are convinced that somewhere deep down inside some people may not agree with your arguments or your reasoning or your or your decision to why do you think those are the ones which those decisions are the ones which you should be taking why not something else why not the other way around all right but there's a saying old saying that uh, my way is the highway right so so that's the situation which many of us are caught currently and this has to do with the areas which are ruled by mars well this video was about the retrogression of mercury but how in the universe suddenly mars is in the picture yes because mercury will be retrograde from this monday 8th of july to almost the end of this month and from august mercury starts going direct again and mercury will also enter the zodiac sign of gemini his own sign which he was from long time so do not forget that all right so currently mercury is retro uh, he is direct and maybe by that time you watch this video he will go retrograde on 8th of july in the sign of cancer but he is conjunct mars and he is ahead of mars now all right okay so there you go let's discuss on this shortly and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life or specifically certain areas like the house is loaded by mars or mercury for this transit then you could always go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in this retrogression of mercury okay so what's happening now is mars and mercury are conjunct from quite a long time i would say so when mercury conjuncts any planet in transit what happens is we start communicating very verbally about the houses which are ruled by the other planet all right so for example if you are a capricorn ascendant then mars rules your fourth and the 11th house these two houses so now you could have realized that capricorn ascendants things related to the fourth house you know like depending on your age it could be education or if you are in your 30s it could be property all right or it could be your mother 11th house is your income your elder siblings your gains your network circles you would have been communicating quite verbally regarding those areas verbally doesn't mean only through mouth but very actively i would say all right so that happens whenever mars uh, sorry uh, mercury gets conjunct in the planet so then what happens is now mars is debilitated so when a planet is debilitated in transit what happens is that uh, we might feel that our agenda will not be supported by our fellow members you know family members teammates or um uh, anybody our friends or anybody it can be who we are close to or we we might feel that we do not have the resources which are needed to get that thing done all right the houses which that planet rules so now mars is debilitated in cancer so regarding mars we might feel that okay i know this that i have to go there and i know i am here now so there are certain things which i have to do to get to that destination but it seems the society will not agree they will come up with n number of excuses for why this is not good why that is bad or why you could take the other way all right so these are the things could happen and when mercury is conjunct this planet then what happens is we 
try to figure out newer and newer and newer ways how we can push our agenda through but now mercury is retrograde all right so then what happens is we made a lot of effort to get something done to get through it to prove to others that yes what i know is the best what you know is not very good i would say maybe it's good but not like what i know so in that case what happens later we may realize when the retrogression starts especially from 9th the retrograde motion will start because one or two days mercury is always stationary so from 9th or 10th of july you could feel that now people although maybe they believed you in the initial days now they will again start to question you or you will start questioning yourself that oh my dear sir my dear madam you thought this will give you the highest level of fulfillment but maybe it's not giving you all right so the important lesson here to learn from this mars mercury conjunction in cancer retrogression of mercury is that whenever we get too much obsessed with our ideals about our own plans and when we cannot surrender to destiny destiny is what basically it's the will of god right will of god doesn't mean that god is whimsically just uh, doing a lottery or oh, let's give me give him 1 million euros let's give him poverty no that's not the will of god but the law of karma basically that what we did to others the others will do to us the same thing so when we understand when we do not understand this law of karma and then by there the divine sanction of god and we uh, think that we are all in control we can do whatever we want wherever we want whenever we want however we want without considering any other external factors all right so when we have that kind of an attitude in life that i am the center of the universe and everything should go the way i want then uh we should be ready to uh, get some lessons this time because now suddenly you might feel that the people who agreed <laughs> now they may say that mm, we don't quite agree now it seems or it could happen that they agree but your plans fail or you have to reconsider your plans now it might happen if you spoke lies or you tried divisive means to get things done regarding the houses which mars rules in your chart it could happen that now you only have to tell them that hey my dear sir my dear madam you know i said like this but mm, it's not happening all right so we have to take the other way around like this and uh then they might tell you that oh what happened mr you said you know you were very confident that this will work this is the only way you fought with us blah 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 all the nonsense but now you are saying so whoever has done something which which should not be done according to the scriptures then they will have to cut a sorry figure during this transit okay but if you tried your best and you did not use divisive means to get your agenda through then now if the the society did not agree now the opposite will happen with you now the society people may come and tell you that oh sir uh, you gave us this suggestion we said this will not work but maybe now this works all right so this is a very important transit of the year because mars will be in debilitation and uh, it will be conjunct this retrograde mercury okay so when a planet is conjunct retrograde planet in transit and it is itself debilitated it can have this over confidence of behaving you know like an exalted planet because they also say that a planet which is retrograde but debilitated behaves like an exalted planet not that it gets exalted but it behaves as if so it is an outward show of external superficial superiority which the planet could do sometimes a debilitated retrograde planet that is why we say that it behaves as if not that it becomes exalted it behaves as if the word is used you know behaves as if and uh, when a planet is debilitated but conjunct another retrograde planet similar effects can be there i have seen this in my experience all right so now is the time when we uh, understand that the houses ruled by mars 
they might need some time to come up to the surface to reveal itself and thereby it's important that we trust the universe and we trust everybody else all right and we trust ourselves also and we trust the word of the scriptures and we trust the law of karma and we try our best to get things done but we should not use divisive means to get things done all right if we do that then during the retrogression we will suffer and if we tried our best and things didn't work out maybe now it works out all right so now it is for you to decide depending on your dashas what it will happen and what is your ascendant where is mars and mercury placed in your birth chart originally and where which planets are placed in the sign of cancer in your horoscope all right so there you go that is my analysis on the conjunction of mars debilitation in with retrogression of mercury there you go so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me please go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him